Hi hey guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 1st of April 2020. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Witch's Tarot for today's reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to know for April Fool's Day. The Two of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Two of Wands is a man holding the world in his palm of, in the palm of his hand. He's standing between a doorway and he's looking out to sea at the ships. He's got his little cat buddy there and this cloak. He's dressed for traveling. So you feel a sense of power to run your own life on this day. And you feel a sense of adventure. You Two is a relationship. So you feel like you want to improve your relationship with the world. So currently travel is difficult. I think, I'm not sure, but I think some flights are still going for the rich and famous. But I think most flights have shut down. Or if you want to get a flight, they're super expensive. I'm not exactly sure though. So don't take my word on that. But... I know that traveling is limited. So instead of tra traveling in a physical sense, it's about traveling and going through a doorway in the sense that you're progressing with something that you care about. You see all this red. Or that you're broadening your horizons by educating yourself and learning about something that you enjoy and care about and creating a better relationship with that by becoming more expert at it through study and then you have a feather in your cap for doing that you become an expert and you create a doorway that allows you to contribute something and that really opens up your life and makes it bigger so the queen of pentacles look at the little dog she is the master of money work daily life, physical beauty, health, and she is on her throne there. She is completely in control of all of those elements of her life. She's got her pet there, beautiful environment, red roses, flowers, a pentacle, so no shortage of money. In reverse means that you don't have this mastery of money. And you don't need to let money stop you in your endeavors because what you're doing today is you're thinking on a level that's higher than money. You're not thinking, oh, let's look at the paper and see what job I can get because I want to be the queen of pentacles and I'm really in a dire state financially right now. So let's look at the paper and see what jobs I can take even though I don't like them. Or you can do inner work and ask yourself, what is it that I'm passionate about? And I really hope, I've spoken to people who have realized that now during this lockdown, they don't want to live where they've lived anymore. They don't want to do the jobs they've done anymore. I've also had some people who um, can't wait to kind of get back to work and who are really having to do a do over when it comes to work and finances. If you're lucky enough to be in a position where you can use this time to reflect and really ask yourself what you want to do with your life. Because we spend most of our lives at work. Work takes up a lot of time. So don't wish your life away by having some job you don't really care about anyway. And you see beyond the financial. So beyond the problems of, oh, I don't have enough money to start my own business, which you can borrow, or I don't have the experience, which you can learn, and so on. So you don't care about the physical limitations so much. Next card in reverse is the Eight of Swords. She's kicked out of the club. Look at the castle behind her. We don't want you. Thank you very much. She's blindfolded. She's, she's trapped in this circle of swords. The ideas of other people, she may, she may have committed some crime that they felt was odious and she's been punished. And um, usually that's a load of rubbish. And um, if she were to take her blindfold off 
and the the ropes around her she'd see that she can just walk she can just walk out of this she's free it's in reverse so the blindfold is off you're thinking very clearly you're not trapped by other people's beliefs and my mother approves so i can do it or what are my children going to think if I do this thing that I care about? What if I embarrass them? No, I can't do it. You see that clearly. And all of the ideas, all of those negative ideas, you're able to pull them out one by one and rise above them. And you're able to rise above your existing financial circumstances. Because remember, your existing financial circumstances are in place because of past decisions you've made about your financial life. So maybe three years ago, you were desperate and you needed a job and your cousin said, hey, we need someone at the petrol station, come work there. You're still working there. You're unhappy, you're miserable. And you're like, well, what am I supposed to be doing? Then keep the job at the petrol station. But now I don't, I think, uh, pe I think petrol stations are still open. So if you have reduced hours and you do have the luxury of looking within and asking yourself, how am I going to move forward with this next chapter of my life? How can I plan my life so that I'm doing something that's fun? Like I'm planning, I'm planning to take a journey at the end of the year, or I'm going to enroll for this course that I've always wanted to do. I've always been interested in the I Ching, so I'm going to enroll in this distance learning course and I'm going to get a tutor, and I'm going to become a master at the I Ching, and I'm going to do readings for people. It's going to be amazing. Or I just love to paint and make pottery. By figuring all of that out and by listening to your passion, you're able to turn the queen of pentacles around, and the idea you get will serve as a queen of pentacles idea. It's not going to be some harebrained scheme that's going to end up in bankruptcy. It's something that will put you on top. And second of all, it's something that puts you beyond reproach from other people. It put, puts you in a position of power. And instead of being put down and judged, you get rid of all these swords. You decide that your sword, your opinion is the one that matters. You do something with it. And then because you do well financially, you live at the top of the tower and you get to decide who's in and who's out of the club. So today is a wonderful day to discover what you love in yourself, what you love in life. And you're able to see that really for the first time today because you have this great attitude of, I'm not so interested in everything that's going on and what other people think. I'm really actually just, I just care about myself actually and the world and how I'm going to interact with the world in future. So the past is the past that's done with, and I want to be happier in my future. And that's a great place to start, because when you ask yourself that, how can I have a future that's full of love for my work and for my daily life and for my body and for my routine and the little house I live in and the life I live? How can I do that? You'll get feelings. The way to know what's right, like let's say you get three messages. Write them down. The one that makes you feel most excited and heated and passionate and maybe even nervous and thrilled, that's the one to go for. It's going to be a queen of pentacles success and it's going to give you total clarity and put you in a position of power. You use your intellect towards his air and your practical sense, your thoughts and your practical abilities are going to kick in once you look inside yourself rather than looking outside of yourself for guidance. So don't look at the listings for jobs. Look at the inner listings for jobs of what you want to do with your life and start studying towards it. It's never too late. Number-wise, we've got two and a court card is one, so that's three. Three and eight is 11. 11 is the master number of service. And 11 is also a doorway, just like that. That's an 11, it's just spread out. So the universe creates a doorway for you 
to glimpse into a happier future. So if you're very visual, meditate and just say, show me my wonderful, amazing future. And you'll start to see it. And then you'll get the guidance of what practical steps to take. And once you start taking those steps, you get more and more and more ideas to achieve your goal. So this is like the secret, but it's not just the one step that they outline in the secret. The secret was this super popular book that everyone read 10 years ago about the law of attraction. It just said, you have to imagine something wonderful and wonderful things will happen. So you, you imagine yourself with a Ferrari and you'll get a Ferrari. No, you, the first, that's the first step. Yes. You imagine this wonderful life. So today you have the opportunity 11 to be of service to yourself, to glimpse this wonderful future life. Step two, once you've imagined it and seen it, step two is listening to the earth signs in the world, your inner guidance, what makes you feel most fired up and motivated. That then is going to guide you in a position where you're doing something that takes you towards fulfilling your dream. So today can be a day where you plant seeds of intention to start this new life that you can glimpse in a meditation practice or, ju or just by looking within or by asking yourself, how can I find a job that makes me truly happy? Or what does my... What does a future look like in which I am truly happy? Can I see myself in a future where I'm really, really happy? And what does that look like? You'll be able to see it today. Please write it down or draw it or make a list of the things that appear to you that make you happy. And make a commitment to honor that vision, not just to dismiss it and discard it as rubbish. The universe is really giving you a glimpse of what you can achieve today. So please make a note of it and listen to the guidance as to how to then complete that step. Do those things, the ideas will expand and you'll actually be in the position that you saw yourself in today in maybe two months or six months or a year. But as a day in itself, it's a good day to stay home, to not bother with practical things too much, or to socialize with other people too much. It's really about you and what entertains you and being self conscious. And this is fun. This is something I like. How can I expand this into something much bigger? And you got the cat there, the magical creature associated with Isis and magic. And this is magic that you're doing today. You've got the world in the palm of your hand. Okay, that's magic. So use the magic that's given to you to turn these cards over and to be the queen who lives on top of that tower. Have a wonderful day. Be of service to yourself by giving yourself the time to ask yourself that question. What is going to make me happy in life and how can I achieve it? You'll get a very clear answer. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you struggle with this kind of thing and you need some help, then please get in touch with me for a personal reading. It's gregoryscott.com. And I'm keeping this discount on as long as things are locked down the way they are. Coupon code SPRING SPECIAL, 25% off all priority and emergency sessions. So if you go to the website, have a look, you'll see what's discounted. If you like the video, then please hit the red subscribe button here on YouTube and share the video online. That'd be awesome. Have a great day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.